everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about applying filters to our search results. And this is going to be a continuation from the previous episode about aggregate. So if you haven't seen that episode, please check that out and you'll understand exactly what's going on in this episode right over here. All right, if you've already seen that, then let's move forward. Before we do that, though, I'd like to mention that we are doing a Rails Foundation course and you can be a part of that. So if you are starting Rails and you want to learn more about Rails and how to build applications with Ruby on Rails, then check out the video that I'm going to post on my door and you can click on that video to, to see that video. It's going to be an introductory to what's going to be accomplished in the Rails Foundation course. And if you like it, head over to our Gumroad website, then put in your email so we know that you're looking forward to it so we can inform you once the videos are done for that course. Now, this is going to be a paid course, so the content is going to be exceptional. Like everything is going to be done from scratch. I'm not going to do code walkthroughs. I'm actually going to be writing the code with you and we're not going to be skipping anything. All right, with that out of the way, let's hop right into code and take a look at what we're going to be doing in this episode right over here. So uh, I've got my um, browser open with the Terminator query. And as you can see, uh, I've got these filters applied. I mean, I've got these facets applied. So I've got two now, I've got genres and I've got crews. So I'll talk about that and how we you know, achieve that. And if I click over here, uh, I click on James Cameron. It's only gonna show me movies that is uh, related to James Cameron. And uh, if I click on action, I can see only the you know, action movies that is by James Cameron. Now I'd like to point something out over here. Uh, I'm using a gem, uh, you know, to do the URL stuff. Uh, I'm, I mentioned that, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do all that stuff, but that's not gonna be the focus of this episode, but it does need, we do need that code. So what I've done is I've extracted that code into a gem. So you can use that gem to follow along in this video. And at a later episode, I will explain to you how I achieve, at, how I achieve the result that I'm getting with the URL, the beautiful URL for the filters. So if you want to use that gem, uh, the link is going to be in the description below. Check it out. And if you have any feedback for the gem, like, you know, anything you want me to add or remove, let me know. So I'm going to hop right into code over here. Now let's start over at the movie model and take a look at what we've done to the custom search method over here. So as you can see here, we have the keyword, um, you know, I'm getting the keyword over here. And what I'm doing is I'm doing query segment delete keyword. So when you do it, so what we're getting with the query segment is a hash with three keys inside. So it looks something like this. So I'm gonna add a comment here. So we're getting keyword and then it's, you know, whatever the keyword. So in this case, it'll be Terminator. And then we're getting cruise with an array of, or oh, actually just the numbers. And then I'm getting genres. Whoops. And then the ID. So like whatever the ID of the uh, genres that we have. So um, that's what's coming in as a query segment. And then what we're doing is we're just deleting the keyword. So we have, we assign the keyword to this variable over here. And then we have the filters that is separate, right? So because we delete the keyword, this goes away. And all we get is just the cruise and the genres, which is what we want for the filters. Um, so we pass the keyword over to here, uh, and then we pass the filter segments over to this new section over here that I've just added. All right, so how did this query segment came to be? Well, let's take a look. Uh, in the controller over here, I've got the segmented query uh, that is passed in, and that is coming from over here. Now, where is this segment refiner query by crew keywords and genres coming from it's coming from the gem. So if you include, if you uh, use our gem, what you can do is do an include in your controller and you will get access to these, um, you know, to this method over here, segment refiner query by, and then you pass in whatever segments you have now by segments, I mean in the URL. So if I go over to the browser over here, I have the keyword segment, then I have the cruise segment, and then I have the genre segment. That's what I'm using. These, these words here are what I'm using to separate them into segments into hash so I can pass them um, respectively into the sections they need to go, right? All right, so if I head back into code over here, um, let's continue our walkthrough. 
And uh, what we have here is the filters, as I mentioned, I'm passing the, the, you know, the cruise and the genres filter into here. And let's take a look at, um, I made some changes to the aggregations code as well, because we now have the crew code and the genres, uh, you know, aggregations. So we need to add the genre aggregation into here as well. Now, what I've got here is I've uh, generalized um, the, the method that generates the aggregates uh, a little bit. So to make it, you know, so I have to write two of the same code. So here I'm generating the aggregation for genres. So I'm just passing in the ag type and then basically it's doing the same thing for the cruise. Uh, I already explained this piece of code. I'd, I'd also like to mention that, um, you know, we're using a script uh, over here. Now in the previous episode, I forgot to mention that if you don't have scripting enabled in your, um, in your Elasticsearch configuration, this won't work. So what you'll need to do is enable the, the configuration that will allow you to, uh, you know, use scripting languages in your Elasticsearch queries. All right. So without other way, um, let's continue. So here we are, uh, you know, with the uh, generating the aggregation, everything should be, uh, mostly the same as a previous episode. So you should be follow, uh, be able to follow along just fine. And uh, let's take a look at the filters over here. So here we are with the filters. So what we're doing is we're adding a Boolean filter and it, it must, um, you know, it must have these, this over here, nested terms filter. So what is nested firm term filters? So if we take a look down here, what I'm doing is I'm building a fill, a nested filter uh, for, for, for both, for the genres and the crews, right? So I'm basically what I'm getting, um, you know, from the, from up here is the filter segments. I'm just doing an each on that. And what I get is I'm using just the keys, right? So just the keys means I'm going to get an array, uh, with just the words cruise and genres. So in this case, uh, segment dot keys is equal to cruise and genres. And then I'm just doing an, a map to generate um, two filters because I'm applying two, right? So if I have a, um, if I have a, a, you know, those IDs for the genre, then they get passed into here and if I have the ID for the crews and they get passed into here as well. So that structure basically generates the filter uh, for the elastic search. And basically all we're passing in. So here is a path. So the first time round, uh, what we're going to get from map is basically an array with this inside, right? With this hash inside, then that gets converted into JSON that gets in passed into the elastic search, uh, back end. So here, the first time round, this path is going to be cruise. So it's going to be cruise.id. And then we have, um, you know, we're, we're using segments. So we're, we're getting the, you know, what we're doing here because segments is actually, um, it's like this. So cruise and then numbers, right? So one, uh, 27 or whatever, 26, whatever. And then what we're doing is we're just saying, okay, I'm going to select the cruise. So I'm going to get the value. So here we get the value. Then what we're doing is we're splitting the, uh, we're splitting it by the comma. Because if you look in the browser, that's how we apply multiple of these aggregates. So here's the one and 27. So this is for the genres, uh, one comma 27. So what we got to do is we got to split it and then, and then make it into an integer because that's how we indexed the ID. So if we go back up over here to take a look, so we're, you know, over here, the in the integer ID is the integer or is type integer. So we need to convert the string, uh, into integer. And that's how we do that over here. We're using map and then, and the two I. All right, let's take a look at how we handle the views. So I'm going to hop over to the view over here. And as you can see, I've uh, extracted my aggregations into a separate partial. They are now living in the aggregations aggregation partial. So if I head over to the aggregation partial over here, you'll see that I have the ag name from the previous episode, the buckets, you know, rendering them all out. So um, when you include the refiner gem, the one that does all the beautiful URL with the filters and all that stuff for us, um, you will also get a path name called refiner path. 
And then what you have to do is pass in the aggregation kind. So this is basically how we use the same aggregation partial code for both the crews and the genres. So it doesn't care uh, as long as you pass in what kind it is, it'll figure it out for you. So here you have the aggregation kind. So the first time around rendering uh, this aggregation, it's going to be the crew. Uh, and then the, basically the next time around, it's going to be the genres or vice versa. Uh, and this here is the bucket idea. This is what we're going to be using to, um, you know, for the URL, right? And here we have a merge. You can do three operations uh, with this here. You can do a merge, or you can do a replace, or you can do a delete. Um, so yeah, you know, I'll, I'll do a, another video explaining how all of this works later, as I mentioned. But um, yeah, for now we're going to use merge. And the search is basically the search URL that you know you will need you you used in your application so that's basically set in the route so if i head over to the routes over here i've got the search path over here so this gives me that um search movies path that i used in the partial and the fallback is basically if we don't have anything there's no queries no filters nothing where do we want to go we just go to the movies path or we can go to the root path or whatever it is that you want. So that's just the fallback path in case we don't have any, um, you know, anything. So there's also the refiner active method over here that came from the refiner gem. And what this does is it checks from the URL if that particular uh, filter that you applied from your aggregate is active or not. And that's how, um, you know, this highlighting is happening over here. So that pretty much covers um, almost everything that we've done uh, in order to get all this stuff to work. So I hope you guys found that useful. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Uh, if I did and you guys are struggling to get this to work, drop me a comment below and I'd love to help you guys out. Also, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and ask me any questions uh, using the hashtag that I'm going to put up on the video. And uh, if you guys need any more help, ask on Twitter or drop them in the comments below. And uh, I will try to, you know, help you out as soon as I can. Hope you guys found that useful. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And also don't forget to subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. Don't click the subscribe button again. I will see you guys in the next one.